Goodbye. Oh. Thank you for enjoying the most grossest stream ever. Oh, we've had grosser. We have had what far worse. Yeah, we've far had far worse. The farting the, that one time when somebody farted during the stream. <laughs> I refuse to apologize for art. I will not apologize for art. Look, motherfucker. Until you, until you recreate, until you recreate Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy on your ass trumpet, shut the fuck up about. It. Well, that just sounds like a goal now. <laughs> so, so now you're invited to listen to all my practice sessions. <laughs> I would like to perform a masterpiece. Exactly. <laughs> just everybody in the theater just sitting and waiting. Oh, yes, I would like to perform the entire uh, Nutcracker Ballet on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with you people. <laughs> Equestrian guy went hashtag donkey trumpet. Yeah. Get it? I unfortunately get it, yes. I unfortunately get it's, it. It's not that hard to understand. <laughs> Somebody in fucking fourth yeah. grade would get it. Uh, Farewell, everyone, until next until next dream. You can uh, After this is over, I am going. Oh my god. You're no. going. You, you got to do the sleep. Yeah. Sleep oh, like my baby. My energy. EG asked Golden, are you feeling peachy keen? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, no, I mean, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not falling for that, no. You're mad at me, I don't make the comments, I just read them. No, it was, he was saying that to EG. Yeah. I got somebody, somebody in the chat was like, I got your Twitter bliss, and it's funny because it sounds like he's holding your Twitter hostage. <laughs> What? I got your Twitter, Bliss. What are you going to do now? Your Twitter is hostage now. <laughs> How dare you hostage my Twitter! Wait, what? She, he got, um, got the gayest of Twitter accounts hostage. It's a rainbow I horse. It's a gay Twitter account. What the fuck? It's be Why are you being mean to me? Because you're there. Why are you being mean to me? Because you're right there. Why? Yeah, no Just ask the same question over and over. Why? <laughs> because my name is Eliora and I'm a psychopath and my filters are even less functional than Hello? What the fuck happened? Because I'm shit. There we go. <laughs> Golden, you don't I'm give a shit about Final Fantasy, do you? I'm just curious how far okay, I can it's, do it. Okay, in, in full disclosure of anything with Final Fantasy, the only Final Fantasy game would catch my interest because I've yet to finish it and I love where it was going so far. Final Fantasy VI. All right. Yeah. I've played a little bit of... I've played a little bit of seven. Eh, didn't catch my interest that much. When it comes to RPG games, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence. Like, sometimes I'll get engaged, other times I won't. Um... RPG games take forever to play through, and sometimes I yeah. don't have the patience to go through it all. That's why yeah. I like them. Especially if you do all, like, the side quests and then do the main missions, oh, like okay. I do. Oh, it you do all the side fun. quests so that you become fucking max level, and then you just chump your way through the rest of the game? Yeah. Like, everybody it does. Takes everybody forever. Game. It's totally worth it, because you're going to be a god by the end of the game, but it takes forever, though. Very true. When, when you reach max level before the second level of the game. I don't even know how <laughs> I would be able to stream, like, freaking Chrono Trigger, because they have, like, 15 different endings. Um, did I cut no, out? You little, did cut out for a millisecond. God yeah. damn it. All right. I said, I don't know how I would be able to stream Chrono Trigger considering that game has like 15 different endings. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I've actually, I would, that, that's, a, that's a, <clears throat> that is a stream I would actually <clears throat> have to sit out on. Chris refuses to let me have anything to do with Chrono Trigger until he can record my reactions. <laughs> well, that's a little selfish. No, that's good he wants, content. <laughs> he wants he he wants to see my reactions to it because I've never played it. 
And I love RPGs. Like, it's my favorite game genre. I feel like that's, like, that's the idea that I'm going for with Super Mario RPG. Like, I played a little bit of it, and it looks a little easy so far. Um, oh. I oh, have you poor yeah. child. You poor innocent <laughs> creature. You, you poor, poor being. Bastard. You think it's easy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, if you want a more easier, nothing, if you want a more nothing. easier version of that, Golden, that's no, why you no, have he doesn't. No, 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 no. One at we a time. To we want him to experience the education. I have a feeling no, this is like, going to turn into a shit show if that's the case. Oh, bend no, over, no. now bend over and put your ass up, bitch. It's <laughs> wow. <laughs> I will tell you, like, yeah, the game hits you with a difficulty spike. I want to say. Just a little under halfway through, yeah. and it only goes up from there, but by God, is it fucking worth playing? Okay, so I guess uh, the best way to go about this is grind the fuck during the first half. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Okay, then. All of the grinding. You, all of oh, the my. Grinding. my Shut up! <laughs> This is what we do, just fucking any any master code exists, Golden. Shut up. <laughs> master code says a stupid pun. Everybody else, shut up, Master Code. <laughs> yeah, it's right oh. here. Oh, I, should um, make bam, 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 bam. I really should. I can't do this. No, I don't like it. No. I can't open it. That'll yeah. hurt. No. Oh, I mean, I could have done worse, Ellie. You oh. want to stop because the next time I see you, I'm going to punch you in the fucking stomach. Worth okay. it. Oh. <laughs> Worth it. Oh. Uh. Hey, um, Golan, when you start the Let's Play for um, Mario, one of the Mario and Luigi games, <laughs> yeah. the, um, the game itself, I would recommend grinding as well. Fight off every enemy you can imagine throughout the whole game because let me tell you, some of the bosses are annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna say it right now. It seems like every RPG game you have to at some point grind like fucking crazy. I had to do okay. that at Chrono Trigger. Yeah. I had to do that at Final Fantasy VI. I especially had to do that at fucking Earthbound. It's okay, yeah. more or less. It's just part of the experience. That's that's par for the course with an RPG game. Yeah. And um, also, Golan, like, even though that's the case, like, the one that you definitely have to be more concerned about with the grinding, it's not just all the bosses in general. It's just the final one, because, oh, my God, I died more than once fighting oh, the geez. final boss. And I'm like, oh, I ah! died more than once, you poor, innocent child. Watch <laughs> out. You <laughs> died more than once bosses. to the final boss of a game more than once. That's a tragedy, people. Nobody's ever died more than once to the final boss of an RPG video game. Never well, before, Brett has, ever Brett seen. Brett hasn't because his, his ass hasn't played one. <laughs> and also, to be fair, comparison to all the other bosses in the in Superstar Saga, they were easy. Kakleta, no. no. Who? A final boss is supposed to be the one that shoves the iron rock up your ass. No, yeah, that's actually much. meant to be more along the sides of the secret bosses, but you know. No, no in this case of secret bosses, it'd be a red hot iron, an iron rod. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Understandable. Ouch! Once you get through it, man, is it worth it. I just love what Gamer Girl says. I leave for a moment and come back to Solar Raging. Is it Tuesday already? <laughs> I don't even know what fucking day it is, dude. What the fuck? I have no tolerance for weakness. <laughs> Must be very hard to get out of bed, then. <laughs> I'll have you know, motherfucker. <laughs> I have... The only reason I have trouble getting out of bed is because I have morning wood. You get it? It's a kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> You can't tell, but I did a deep dab there and just took like 30% off my lifespan. I'm acquired. <laughs> I've acquired a brownie. Hey. How many brownies have you had? I'm gonna okay, I've eaten a full bowl of psycho mac and cheese, and uh, this is my first brownie. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh, la di da. Godspeed, Aeon. At least he's eating. <laughs> 
No, nah, no, nah, that was actually a real problem because uh, uh, good news, I've probably broken all the Brony Babies records. Uh, bad news is I did it uh, the unhealthy way. I lost like 10 pounds in three weeks. Nice. That is, oh. no, not, no, 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 no. That, that's not, that's not, not the good. way he lost that's it. That's not a good... It's not the no. way. It's not the kind of way he needs to lose. I've considering lost ten me pounds and Lars in three are, days. Considering me and Lars are witnessing, witnessing this firsthand, we were both very concerned. So was my mom. It was quote for my mother, by the way, as of uh, two days ago. Uh, she officially called A on her adoptive son. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that is wholesome. Oh, wholesome. It was sweet. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> That's uh, Mama, accept my accept my Aeon. <laughs> well, oh, she did. <laughs> she did, all right. <laughs> oh, I think I, um, I remember like um, in yeah. all the Persona games, the Reaper is like the hardest secret boss. Oh, the the complete. fucking Reaper ten it, don't fuck with the Reaper, but it is not. <laughs> yeah. but it is, <laughs> Well, yeah. It is not the hardest secret boss. Seasons don't feel. Oh my god. Like it, one of the this brownie it tastes like incredible. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> can we get a can we get a can we get a fucking art of Aeon eating a brownie and he just looks really like no! fucking <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, okay, this is the term we had in the in the CSU. When we were in the asylum, the way we the way we talked about it and the way we talked about it when we met up after was like, oh dude, guys, I'm fucking zoinked. I'm fucking zoinked. <laughs> I'm fucking zoinked. <laughs> I'm zoinked out of my mind, bruh! Well, I mean, what really when didn't Scoob help us... offers you a third brownie, but you're already zoinked. <laughs> no, yeah, that's exactly what we did. That, is, that is where we took it from. But no, here's the funny part. It's like, guys, guys, do you guys... Y'all took your wrist roll, right? And I'm like, yeah, I took one too. How does that mix with weed? It's like, dude, we've already taken the hit. We're free... And I was just like, I feel good. Mm, I feel yeah. good. See, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See, I'll put it like this. Uh, Visteril and weed. You can totally mix them, and uh, that's awesome because Visteril's anti-anxiety, so... Yeah, you feel pretty good. You coasting. We went to a sushi bar, spicy tuna, never tasted so good, man. Mm. Oh my god, Peter, you sound like a fucking hippie. No, uh, before that... This is nothing totally new! <laughs> yeah, no, before that, uh, Brandy whips out the bong, and she's just like, oh, wait, Peter has social anxiety. I do, too. Oh, I got a solution. And then she whips out a bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and then we're just like, oh, hey. hey. And we just all take a rip of fat hit, and she's like, don't worry. I, I got this to get rid of social anxiety. And the strain was really good. It was extremely good at not giving you social anxiety. Um, mm. We're, like, sucking it out of you. So I'm just like, yeah, this is great. And it's like, yeah, let's go to Little Caesars and watch Star Wars. Hell so, yeah. yeah. So we go to Little Caesars and watch Star Wars. And then we all fall asleep. And she's like, oh, my God, he, he was able to fall asleep in here. Because we all trust each other enough that we can sleep in each other's company. And when we woke up, we're like, hey, guys, you all still zoinked? And it's like, yeah, dude, I'm visceral on oh, weed. Hit me dude, harder, I'm man. still I'm like, oh, you did that too? zoinked. So I, yeah, we wake up and we're like, I'm still zoinked. Let's have sushi. <laughs> I just want to use Scooby Doo colloquialisms in my everyday life now. I want to say zones and like jinkies and shit like that. Well, no, it works for Scooby Doo because that that is the the secret behind Scooby Doo is that Scooby snacks are like totally edibles, and of course you can uh, Shaggy can understand Scooby. He's fucking high all the time. <laughs> okay, while we're on the topic of Scooby Doo, who's excited for Scoob? I am a little bit. I mean, we already know about Keyframe on the matter, so... Yeah. Keyframe excited about Scooby-Doo? Nonsense. This is madness. <laughs> he's, probably gonna, he's probably gonna cry tears of joy if that movie is decent. Jesse is so. taller than blood. Wow, Spinel. Okay, your funeral. What, what happened? Jesse is taller than Bliss. Alright. No shit, Sherlock! Wow. <laughs> Yeah, what are you, some kind of moron? <laughs> Did it take you that long to figure out? 
Oh, Nelson, I love what you're saying there. I'm more excited about Scoob than I am about the Bambi remake. How many of you are willing to bet that the Bambi remake is going to be so emotionless just like the Lion King remake? Oh, I, I want to hope it's not. I want to hope to it's be... not. Excuse me. We have to be photorealistic and deers don't make emotional faces. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> it's a good way to just... Reaction. Yeah, that's a... No, like, oh, God, I still remember guiltily watching the stupid remake in the theater, and I'm cringing Why? at some scenes, and I'm like, you guys are just doing almost line for line with a few little touches here and there. This doesn't make it stand out well. Can you, Can you feel the love today? <laughs> no, no, I can't, oh. Golden. No, nobody Daddy. can. <laughs> Okay, when the jungle Can you feel that, the love that wasn't put into this movie? <laughs> hey. 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 Oh. No, yeah. they probably can't feel the aloe vera they after that one. You're cutting off. Yeah, you're cutting off. Oh, I got what she said, though. Penis. Yeah, it makes sense, honestly. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Right, Whatever. I'm really tired anyway. Sleepy Ellie noises. Leaving a watermelon on someone's doorstep in the middle of, of night is a pretty inexpensive way to occupy a portion of their mind forever. Okay. Alright. Oh, I mean, I'm, 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 Magical Star, I pity you. What Magical Stars? <sighs> Help me? My little brother still prefers the live action over the remake. Oh. Well, I feel physically sick now. What's a good remake according to Gold? Hey, here's a remake idea. How about a remake of Atlantis or Treasure Fucking Planet? How about one that doesn't <laughs> fucking suck? Th yeah. Oh. Who the hell knows that? A nice, like, if they do an Atlantis remake, I still stick with the claim. Tom Holland is Milo Thatch. Oh, yeah, 100%. Absolutely, I, I mean. Agree. We've seen how he did Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah. I still like. I still had the hilarious moment when I saw um, not Endgame but uh, Infinity War in theaters, and the moment where everybody was fading away, and freaking Spider Man comes in saying Tony, I don't feel so good. Everybody's like, No! <laughs> like I can see why. Like the scene when he came back in Endgame, and you could hear all the girls just fucking getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> No, P no, Solar, they got wet from the moment he appeared again in Infinity War on the school bus. Everybody's like, yeah! Oh, yeah. Dude, every time a character popped up in Infinity War, everyone just started standing up and applauding. They did that shit for Black Panther. They did that shit for... Um, Spidey. They did that shit for Spider-Man. They did that shit for the magic dude. Oh, What's Doctor, Strange? Doctor Strange? Yeah. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is a fucking badass. Dude. Oh, yeah. They're all badasses in their own right. So. Okay, the yeah. that, that's fair. That's fair. My man, Doctor Strange, 1v1 Thanos on Rust. <laughs> <laughs> Interventions only. <laughs> Some of our friends would legit have superpowers if we were in the MCU. At least, like, five of us practice magic. Hey. God damn it! Um. Just watch, just watch Solar is like either the badass or, uh, or he'll hit us up. Hey, so we live in the Marvel Universe now. Can you teach me some magic? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's my magic. It's called gun. Uh, you shoot people in the face. <laughs> oh and they leave you the fuck alone. Okay, <laughs> think, okay, you lost okay so you'll be, you'll be the Hawkeye of our group then, right? <laughs> no. oh, let's see. The question is, are you talking about your metal gun or your natural gun? Yes. <laughs> My, I will use the power of my fertility stick. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one to dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> Plus one to dexterity. <laughs> dexterity. Oh. Plus one to sterilization. Hey. That's not good. <laughs> I was about I to like, say, like, why are you I like use of my that? testicles. <laughs> Did you guys yeah. cry at the end of Endgame? I didn't. 
I didn't necessarily I'm, cry, but I did feel satisfied with how it was all concluded. Like, yeah, I did, I felt really bad that Iron Man took his life. Yeah. Should uh, we have a spoiler warning? Dude, Dude it's been almost a year. It's been a year. Yeah, it's been nearly a fucking so year. If, if you if for anybody who hasn't seen Endgame yet, this is on you. You had almost a year to do yeah. your goddamn homework. Dude, time moves slower where I am. <laughs> I that's such a that's such a baked thing to say <laughs> dude it's not it's not that i'm out of touch it's just that i'm actually somewhere where time is different no peter has his own time control device yeah, don't yeah it's yeah, called it's a pop called... running you beat me to it Hey. <laughs> no, nah, like, Hi-oh. if you really want to time travel though take some salvia if you're gone for five minutes but you're actually gone for five months <laughs> it helped me out. I recommend it actually to, to go go on a little trip in the Salvia, the Nether World, for a little while. You'll be in real life. It's only five minutes, but they'll let you rest there for a long time if you need it. I was depressed. They said, "Hey, wander around this foresty area for three for three weeks," and it was really awesome. And I was really happy about it. And then I woke up, and I turned to Riley and just like, "Hey, dude, how long was I gone?" And he's like. In here, about five minutes. I'm like, dude, I was gone for three weeks. <laughs> and it really does, it really is stretched out to be three weeks. You are legitimately having, you just, within the span of five minutes, you have acquired three weeks of new memory in linear time. And then you just came back. Wow. Stay up all night, have school in 10 minutes, go on Salvia trip, sleep for three weeks, profit. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that's le- no, dude, shit like that is legit work for me in California. I was really well rested after that. <laughs> what? Oh, there, there's a video that talks about the- We're learning so much tonight. Yeah, Solar, if you want to try this out, uh, that's another thing to whip out Aeon's dick. Nice. <laughs> okay, I think I'm about ready to end this trade. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, until next week, I have stream with Aeon's dick. Well, I, until next week, I have no idea what to stream. So anybody who stuck around for a while, thank you for uh, stomaching a lot of shit. So I just finished processing that we're all ending on dick. Understandable. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Check your PM.